Okay, so I'm down here at this creek that looks like it flows somehow out of the quarry. What's really wild when you look at this place is it's really pretty, but you can see how there's like some kind of, there's like white dust all over everything. See, that is not what you find. This is not what you find at the bottom of normal creeks. This rock, this, this rock dust here, you see it builds up this layer of silt here, which is definitely not the same stuff as you get inside of a natural creek. And all the rocks in here are covered with this white dust. All right. And then as you continue down the creek, you can see all the rocks down there have got it. Look at all that. It's all covered with rock dust. So, Wakestone says that nothing that comes out of their place has ever entered the water and they're 100% on water quality, but that proves that that's not true. All right, so I'm upstream from the point where all the white stuff was in the creek. And this is a smaller tributary that I'll show you on the map. But what's missing from these rocks? This is flowing down into the creek where all the white stuff was, but look, no white stuff. This is what the rock should actually look like in an undisturbed condition. What's also on the rocks? Moss, grass growing, right? Look at that clarity. Okay, then, like, look, if this rock was down on another creek, the whole thing would be bleached white. And it would have scum that you could pick and scrape off of it. This is, this is just a clean rock. Okay, so what I'm saying is, what this proves is that the water that's coming out from the quarry in that settling pond must be the headwaters of that creek where all the white stuff was. Because it can't be this, because this is what this looks like. I'd love to chat with someone about the impact of the different types of stuff that are that is flowing through that creek over there. In that settling pond must be the headwaters of that creek where all the white stuff was. Go ahead. So they have a sediment basin. Right. But they also they also wash their stone because mm -hmm. they their market they want to have clean stone for market. So that generates a lot of dust, a lot of fine silt maybe some silt, some, some sand, maybe some clays, and it's, in, it's, it's settling supposedly in their sediment basin. But evidence shows that they're not retaining that sediment on site as they're required to do. So they're discharging, apparently, a lot of their sediment into the streams of Crabtree Creek of North Carolina. Yeah, that used, is not allowed. I used to do construction and it reminded me of what was left over when I would mix concrete in a wheelbarrow. Just like that fine dust, it would get caked all over your it hands. Is. I would it never is. swim in that creek the way I saw it. <laughs> so it's um Because it makes things super alkaline, right, right? Right. So they're not allowed to they're not supposed to discharge sediment from their site and accumulation of all of that white accumulation of their, their sediment is evidence that they are discharging into Crabtree Creek. What happens when you get those fine sediments is um, it not only prevents the vegetation and the moss on the rocks, but more importantly, it, it clogs up the bottom of the creek. So all of the whole life cycle of animals that, that want to be able to breathe and breed um, on the bottom of the creek cannot do this. Yeah, the so, creek looked sterile. So the fish can't lay their eggs and have them survive. There's not enough oxygen down there. And uh, the whole, all of the habitat and the bugs and the fish and et cetera that live in the creek um, can't do that when there's all these fines clogging the bottom of the creek. A rock, a new pit rock quarry permit on Crabtree Creek would have significant environmental 
yeah. consequences. Right, right. Uh, they would be deforesting a 105-acre watershed that currently has a lot of tributaries flowing to Crabtree Creek. So as someone who's studied watershed management, water quality issues, um, protecting our streams and our water resources, um, when you see a, a evidence of, of a discharge from, um, of, of quite an extent, um, that means that there's something happening in the site that's not being well protected. Uh, we definitely have some sort of sediment leaving the site and fine sediments were clogging the stream. It's, it's in violation uh, of their water quality permits.